12 speaker today. Our ne next speaker. Yeah, 12. <laughs> Our next speaker will be Sugi, a really great first speech titled Climate Change. Everyone, please welcome Sugi. <laughs> Climate change. It's a topic we've heard about for years, really. It's been all over the news every single year. This image might be recognizable. We see Ooh. Greta Thunberg in the corner, one of the most famous climate activists. We hear every day about temperatures rising to dangerous levels, cities being flooded, animals losing their homes, and more severe natural disasters happening every single day. Now you may ask, why haven't we taken any action? Now before I answer that question, I want to paint a picture of what really happens because of climate change. A recent UN climate report found that the Earth will soon pass the UN Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, or the IPCC's most ambitious goal to limit global warming to 1.5 degrees Celsius or 34.7 degrees Fahrenheit. Scientists have found that if we pass this threshold, we open the earth to face more heat waves, more famines, a higher risk of infectious diseases, and more natural disasters too extreme to manage and recover from. And because of all of these factors, you will have a much higher rate of death. And so, if this isn't enough, we have already seen these terrible effects happening today. Earlier this year, Europe experienced a record-breaking heat wave in the middle of winter in January. In 2021, we had Texas experience their worst energy infrastructure failure in its state history because of three severe winter storms caused by the changing climate. And not only that, we see here locally with lower rates of snowfall every single winter. We see glaciers melting, sea levels rising, Arctic animals are losing their home and being stranded. We see more droughts, more famines, and we see that socioeconomic divides will only continue to further grow. Humanitarian crises will continue to get worse because of the impact it has on the environment, continuously ruining people's lives. So now, we go back to the question I asked in the beginning. Why? Why have we not taken action? The answer is actually quite simple. It's because no one really seems to care. Now I know, that sounds a bit harsh, but let me explain. We have activists like Greta Thunberg. We have international climate change conferences every single year with world leaders across the globe, but nothing happens. But we have to realize that our world leaders are not actually doing anything to stop the problem. And we as citizens are not doing anything to force them to. In fact, China, the United States, the European Union, and India, as the world's largest greenhouse gas emitters, are not on track to reach their reduced emissions goals, even though they historically make up more than half of greenhouse gas emissions. Clearly, there is not enough change happening. So, we must stop pretending that climate change isn't a problem. We must stop saying that, oh, someone else will solve it because we don't need to. Because we do. Climate change is only becoming worse day by day. Now I know, all of us have busy lives. So you're like, well, what can I do? There are small steps that you can take to start. Now I'm sure all of you, you've heard of recycling, you've heard of saving energy. But try to take more public transportation. Educate yourself about climate change. Vote for people in local and federal elections who show that they will take action. Not only that, but I encourage you all to speak up. Advocate to change the climate. It's not enough if we sit at our homes and do nothing. But what you can do is you can go talk to your local lawmakers about ideas you have. You can go talk to your school principal. Start there. If you're a student, you can start a club at your school trying to ensure that your school uses environmentally friendly practices. If you're an adult, you can do the same thing at your workplace. 
making sure both places use renewable energy. It's quite simple. When you have an idea, you have to go out there. I know it will be scary at first. It's scary for all of us. But if we don't take action now, we don't have any spare time left to save our environment. So simply by going out there, joining a local protest, or starting your own protest, you can do something that will change the world. Because right now, we don't have spare time. Climate change is a problem for the here and now. And it will only ever get better if we join together and not alone. So I implore you all to go out and advocate to stop climate change whenever and wherever you can.